Hey guys, Steven here from Muffin on Ribs. Welcome back to another episode. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Uh, today is going to be a quick video because I somehow lost track of time. Um, but who isn't these days? Today we are going to go on a foodie adventure, which I know you guys enjoy and love. Um, today we are going to Burger Five. I know I mentioned them in the last video. I think up here, up here somewhere. I mentioned them when I was reviewing Best Burgers, so I figured I should take you on an adventure to Burger Fi. Why not? Um, when we went to Burger Fi just last night, my wife got a veggie burger and onion rings, and I got a Burger Fi cheeseburger with two patties and a chili cheese fries. The Burger Fi cheeseburger did come with two patties as opposed to the one patty I only got from the Best Burgers. Um, the I got everything that comes with it topping wise which I'll have in the description down below. I did add some grilled onions and pickles to it. The uh, burger patties were cooked to I want to say a perfect medium it was nice and uh, had the juices and meat. Um, it had a little bit of that crust that gets on it on the edges uh, that gave it a nice little crunch to it. And the pickles that I added were actually decently sliced pickles, not those thin ones that you get at like a McDonald's or Burger King. Um, so it got a decent pickle flavor out of it. I was able to taste the grilled onions on it as well as the uh, burger fly sauce that it comes with. I don't know what the burger fry sauce is. I've never looked it up, so I couldn't tell you. All in all, it was a decent burger. And I do like little gimmicky things for branding. Um, they add their little burger fry logo grilled on top of the bun itself. Um, I'm not sure it comes pre-made that way or if they add it themselves at the restaurant. But for some reason, I think it makes the burger taste a little bit better um, the chili cheese fries I didn't like how it came packaged because I did get it to go because it just leaves it open in a tiny little box I didn't get pictures of that um, but it it gives you little cups Dixie cup type things with the cheese in it and the uh, chili in another one and you kind of just pour it on top the chili itself was a little sweet for some reason and it caught me off guard and I'm not sure if I liked it. I think I like the bland chili from Best Burgers a little better than this one. And I do want to mention that this is the first time I've gotten their chili cheese fries from them. The <clears throat> fries were cooked to perfection. Uh, wasn't too crispy, wasn't too soft, perfect right in the middle. How I like my french fries, I know some people love the super crispy french fries and some people love the little limp french fries that are not are just bland and don't taste good. The, the cheese was good, as you guys know I do enjoy the cheese, especially melted cheese on everything. Um, I think it's like ranch, it goes on top of everything and can never be bad. I am meal prepping my breakfast and lunch this week. I am doing overnight oats. I am making them the night before. I'm not doing a full batch for the week. Um, the overnight oats are pretty simple. I will have a video on it in the future. Um, and there are tons of recipes on the internet. If you just Google overnight oats, you can find pretty much a million recipes on it. Um, I am also making one of my go-to meal prep lunches, real simple, chicken, rice, and sautéed uh, bell peppers and onions. I will also have another video on that in the future for you guys. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, leave a comment down below if you have any great recipes that you want to share with us. And maybe I might feature it in another video. If you did enjoy this video, give it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell that way you're notified when I post a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you next time.